Hey friends, this is the Miss of Ophi from our Half Acre Homestead, and today I'm going to make a stuffed cheesesteak. Okay folks, here is two elk round steaks. I marinate them in olive oil, Worcestershire sauce, and a bit of steak spice for a couple hours. I've taken the bones out, and then I pounded the crap out of them with this handy dandy little hammer here. Here I have a loaf pan, which is what we're going to bake it in. Now for our stuffing, we're going to use some cream cheese, one egg, I'm using a turkey egg. This is one everything bagel that has been just cut up. You can use whatever bread you want, but I, I like using a bagel because, well, in your stuffing, you do want that a bit of texture of bread in there. You're going to want about a cup and a half of grated sharp cheddar. Our seasonings are some of my pickled hot peppers, some of my green onions and garlic chives that I've got growing over in my window, some dehydrated onion flakes, and some garlic powder. And we've got a nice piece of homestead bacon, which I've sliced thick. We're going to garnish our steak with that. Okay, let's put our chopped up everything bagel in there. Let's put our seasonings in there our cheddar cheese. The sharper the better for this recipe. Our egg. About three quarters a cup of your cream cheese. Let's check that. Well that's lovely. Now we are going to take, now there's two of them here. You don't have to use elk steak folks. You can use any beef or whatever steak you want. But here we're going to take our spatula and our stuffing. Okay, now don't worry about this if it's too stuffed because A, we're going to be doing it in a bread pan. So now I'm just holding these two steaks together so they don't separate while I spread here. Now you don't want it to go all the way to the ends. You want about an inch of meat exposed on the ends because when you roll it, you want that meat to touch. This is not, this is enough stuffing folks that it's not going to be like a jelly roll. It is literally this stuffing wrapped in elk steak. Isn't that beautiful? Now what we're gonna do, and I have this on the parchment paper, not the cutting board for this very reason. So that we can kind of roll it up in the parchment and give it a squeeze. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Now we're going to take our loaf pan. We're just going to put just a wee tiny bit of olive oil in the bottom just so that the, it doesn't stick really badly. Isn't that beautiful? Now this is the seam side, so we want the seam side in our pan, just like that. Wasn't that wonderful? You think I knew what I was doing. Okay. Okay, so I just talked to my go-to food guru, my little brother, Jane All Zero, and he told me I should try and sear this. Now folks, you saw how delicate this roast was um, when I put it in here. Like as you can see, it's got, you know, it's in pieces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put some toothpicks in the parts where I don't think the meat's going to hold together very well. I'll be taking these out after it goes back into the pan. The hard part is going to be, okay, folks, keep your fingers crossed. John, if this doesn't work, all right, so let's just turn this out. Oh my God, that's beautiful. All right. Now I'm not sure where the seam is, so I'm just going to... So now what we're gonna do is we're just going to take my stainless steel skillet and get it nice and hot. And I'm going to put a knob of butter in there. 
Now we want our pan nice and hot, but we don't want our butter burnt either. Okay, here goes the top. Now we are just searing this, folks. We're not cooking it. So let's try this. And let's just flip it on over. Okay, John, I believe you. Two picture holders. Move back onto our paper. Let's try and take these toothpicks out. I might have should have left them, but I'm really paranoid about, you know, people getting them stuck in their throat and stuff like that. So, back into the pan. Let's add a little bit more kick to this. Let's put some pickled hot peppers on top. And we'll just smother it in bacon. And there it is, ready for the oven. So now we're going to put a tin foil on top. And we're going to roast this for a half an hour, 20 minutes to a half an hour, at 375 degrees. Then we're going to take the foil off and let it go for the last 15 minutes at 300 degrees. We'll see you when this comes out of the oven. Okay, let's get it out of the oven. Oh my gosh, folks. I'm here to tell you it is possible to drown in your own saliva. So what is this? This is... Now I looked on the internet and I didn't see anything about this. So this is a stuffed cheesesteak stuffed cheesesteak but it's made with elk okay let me get this on your plate oh look at that hmm. what's it stuffed with well being as it's a stuffed cheesesteak mm -hmm. what do you think cheese oh. <laughs> <laughs> it is stuffed with Philadelphia cream cheese, a shredded everything bagel, some green onion, some onion flakes, some uh, chives, hot peppers, uh, sharp cheddar, and a turkey egg. Mm. Very tasty. Mm. Thumbs up. This is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead saying, if you come up with an idea and you don't find a recipe for it, make one. Stuffed cheesesteak. Take care. Bye-bye.